Hi, Terrence here from Neptune Systems at Reefa Palooza Orlando 2016. We're going to do some interviews on Aficionado. So, Richard, um, Neptune Systems today is not just a controller company anymore. Everybody knows us for the Apex controller. Actually, 20 years we've been doing controller systems. Um, started out with the Aqua controller way back in 1996, 20 years at Macna. Uh, but now we're, we're focused on just doing everything we can to make an aquarium simpler for people and make them more successful. Um, it all starts with the Apex, of course, but we have a lot of other things we want to show you. So Richard, uh, you saw the hardware, and, uh, and that stuff's all nice. Everybody loves the gear. But where everything comes alive is in Apex Fusion right here. And Apex Fusion is our cloud service that allows you to have access to your aquarium and everything that's going on in it anywhere in the world. So I'm going to show you a few things here on the Apex Fusion dashboard and go through a couple of things so you can see exactly all the cool stuff you can see that's going on in your aquarium. So Richard, what we have here is the uh, Apex Fusion dashboard. This is where you interface with your, your aquarium controller, your Apex. Um, and it works on any device. So it can work on an Android mobile device, an iOS mobile device, like an iPhone or an iPad. And it can work on your computer. You don't need to download any app to make it work. It just works. Um, first thing you see here, this is the dashboard. This dashboard is completely customizable to your liking on what components you have in the aquarium and what you want to see at the top of your phone or the top of your tablet. Um, everything is available in a movable tile, so I can move around anything I want, wherever I want, and customize it, as I said, to my liking. So that's a really cool feature. The second thing you'll see here is you have all of the uh, parameters on your tank that are updated continually. So you have your temperature, your pH, your salinity, your ORP, it's all there for you. Also, we are not just in the controller business. We also make other accessories. For instance, our wave pumps, which do more than 4,000 gallons per hour. They're also integrated into this dashboard. So you have right up here your wave left and your wave right that we have in the tank. Um, you can configure those right from the dashboard. Change the settings, change the flow, update it. Goes right back into the into the Apex through the cloud service and go to the other pump. You can change it so you can have different types of flow. We've got things like pulse, pipeline, Rincon mode, trestles, all different modes that you can put the pumps in. Um, many times people want to log things into their aquarium like their parameters or notes on their aquarium. You can do that in here as well. You can log, for instance, a measurement you take with your your uh, salifert kit for alkalinity. You can put in that you're using a salifert. You can put in exactly what your reading was. So in case I came in and I had uh, 0.45 left over, it knows it's 8.8 .8 dKH. And you can go ahead and put that in there. And you can see the history of everything that you've put in. Every one of those measurements is in here. You can see and compare it to your calcium or your magnesium that's going on in the tank. All of that is available, um, and you can log all these different parameters right there in, into the Apex Fusion interface from your phone, so you can do it right at your tank. Let's say you had a fish die in your tank. You can come in here and say, yeah, I had a fish die. It was really bad. He had ick. And put it in your notes. So now you can see a long history of everything that happened in your aquarium. Then if you want to see the history of, say, things like your temperature, your pH, again, all available here for you. You can look at the pH and compare that even to your alkalinity. And now you can see the alkalinity measurement that you made and how it compares to your pH in the tank even. All of it available for you to check out. Let's say you want to have your tank sitter look at your tank. You can add other users to your tank. You don't want them to be able to reprogram your tank. So you can add that user in and say, guess what? I'm going to make them just to be able to control my tank. And now they can come in and control your tank if there was a user called Joe Snuffy, but there's not. And it'll go into the list. 
So a really neat way for you to add other people that can do it, or people that you want to have help you, you know, set up or configure your Apex, you can do that as well. Um, integration to a webcam. So if you happen to have some webcams, they integrate on here as well. So you can see everything that's going on in your fish room or in your aquarium. When you're away from home, when you're on vacation, you can see what's happening. Lots of other stuff in here, but for now, that's going to be as much as we probably want to get on this video. And we're going to take you around now and look at some of the other accessories and things that we have uh, that integrate into your Apex for your aquarium. So guys, what we have here are two products. The first one is called the Dose. Um, it's pretty obvious it's for dosing on your aquarium, which is the most obvious thing people use it for. Two-part, various elements. Uh, what, what's really unique about the Dose um, is that it uses an industrial grade stepper motor pump. Uh, this means it can be incredibly accurate uh, all the time. You calibrate it and then it's accurate. Um, every other dosing pump you see practically uses these tiny little toy motors in there that wear out, tiny little pump heads. This is made to last um, and it's made to be accurate. Very easy to replace the pump head, so you don't have to be fooling around with tubing or trying to look for tubing. You can just replace the whole head, pops on real easily. Uh, the fittings cinch down really nice so you don't get leakage, you don't get little uh, barb fittings that start splitting the hose and things like that. Uh, it's all configurable in the Apex interface, the Apex Fusion interface. It's super simple. You just say, I want to dose this much between this time to this time and it will continually dose through that period at the exact speed it needs to for the amount each minute that it needs to dose across that time period. One of the other great features uh, for this system, especially because it's a super accurate uh, stepper motor in here, is people use it for water changes, ongoing water change. Um, most people think our stuff is made for gigantic aquariums, but in fact, this product right here is one of the best products you can have for a small nano aquarium. Because you can set up a couple of seven gallon jugs or even three gallon jugs like I have in my office, have it do a continual water change, and that nano is going to be awesome all the time. Um, so that's the dose, but if you're using the dose, we also have another product called the Dose Dual Reservoir. So we came out with this product because people have to have a place to store their fluids that they're going to be dosing. But we wanted to do something that would kind of take it to the next level than just the El Cheapo you know, dosing reservoir. Um, it's got two sides. They look small. It's deceiving. Each side is two liters. Uh, two liters of two-part for most aquariums will last quite a bit of time, at least two to three weeks for most people, maybe even a month for a lot of aquariums. Uh, it also has a single wire going to the dose unit. And that goes to optical level sensors that are in here in the dose, so you can have your Apex tell you, as soon as it gets down to about 15%, it'll send you an email or a text message letting you know, hey, you better put some more calcium or more alkalinity in here. Easy to fill, nothing crazy to take off, uh, it's super stable, it's got a strong base, it's not going to tip over under your stand, low center of gravity, uh, very easy to use push fit connect connect connections on the top with a down tube. High quality, uh, you know, it's not going to be the cheapest dosing container you get on the market. Those come with your iced tea. Uh, but if you want something nice under your aquarium and it's got the level feature in it, you put this with your dose, you won't be dissatisfied. So now let's take a look at something else we got going. So what we have here is something we released uh, last year. It's called the Wave. And the Wave is a circulation pump, a power head uh, for your aquarium. Uh, it plugs into a new module that we have called the One Link. What's really cool about the Wave and plugging into the One Link is three Wave pumps can plug into one of these modules with one power supply. I'll talk about the pump here in a second, but I wanted to stress that first because that means you get rid of a ton of wires under your aquarium. With most power heads, you end up having a power brick, you have some sort of a control module, and you have a power cord. With the Wave pump that I'm going to tell you about, you can plug three of them in here on one power brick and connect it right into your apex. So the wave, 4,000 gallons per hour, okay? Tons and tons of flow. In fact, we have a lot of people that are saying, Terrence, why did you guys make it so powerful? I can't use it in my aquarium. There's too much flow. It's generating way too much flow. Um, it pivots, so the pump itself can be pointed 20 degrees in either direction. Um, it works great in the back of an aquarium or on the side of an aquarium pointed towards the front glass to get some distribution of flow. 
Uh, it has a powerful magnet that can work on up to one inch glass, which is kind of unheard of. So if you have one of these bigger aquariums, you've got an MP60 on it, like I've seen some of the stores do, they've changed them out and thrown these on, on the back of a peninsula, and they're shooting water 10 feet down the tank. So it's easy to clean. It uses only 30 watts of power per pump, which is, for the amount of flow it gives, there isn't another pump out there that produces more flow for, per watt than ours. I'm very confident in saying that. Uh, it's compact. It can be run way up in the water column. So a lot of pumps will start drawing air if they're too close to the surface. Uh, this pump will run two and a half inches from the surface of the, of the water. Uh, one of the coolest features about this pump, though, is when you take this pump out of the water, it shuts off on its own. It senses that it's out of the water. So you do a water change and you drop the water level in your tank, no more bubbles and chopping up the water or whatever. Uh, you can just, boom, drop the water and it'll shut off. When you raise the water, it'll turn back on. You want to clean the pump, just have a bucket next to the tank, a little bit of vinegar and water together, leave it in there for a day, take it out put it back in the tank. Don't have to even unplug the thing uh, to clean it. Uh, another feature, it can tell when it falls off the glass. So if your kid comes up and pulls the magnet off of your, uh, your wave, it drops to the bottom. Before it can stir up all the sand in your tank, it's going to shut itself off and it's going to send you an email letting you know that that happened. You get any snail or anything in there, boom, it sends you an email. Saves the pump, doesn't, doesn't destroy the pump. Uh, so we put tons of features into the Wave to make it like a really cool, really great uh, aquarium pump that we think a lot of people are going to like and we know they do because they're out there on the forums already just saying how much power, how versatile it is, uh, they love the, 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 the water off feature. Anyway, take a look at the Wave if you're out there and let's go take a look at something else at the, in the booth. So one of the great things about having an Apex is that it integrates lots of different components of your aquarium. There are a lot of discrete control type devices and apps and, and lots of companies making apps and things. But the real, the real benefit of having an Apex is it integrates all these things. And nothing shows that better than doing a feed mode on your tank. So often when you do a feed mode on your tank, you want to shut off some pumps. Some people like to shut off their return pump so they don't get food going over the top of the falls, so to speak. Um, some people like to change the mode of their power heads. Uh, and then of course you've got to add the feed to the tank. So we have a feed mode with the Apex and you can integrate that any way you want. You can set it up, configure it however you like. On here I've got one that's feed A that I've got set up on here. If you notice I'm actually using an iOS, uh, sorry, an Android device or mobile device. Uh, as I said, you can run the Apex Fusion interface on any, uh, any device pretty much at all that's got a web interface. Uh, so I'll go ahead and set off feed A, it's going to shut off the pumps, it's going to change the modes of our wave, but it could be vortex, it could be all sorts of different pumps that you might want to have on your aquarium because the Apex can integrate all types of Apex ready devices. Now you'll see the AFS, the automatic feeding system that we sell, is going to come out, it's going to rotate around, it's going to feed the tank and go back in. The AFS seals the food from the moisture uh, through this mechanism. Real easy to add food into it. And then what's really neat is once your feed cycle is done, you can have a sequence of events. So you don't have to have your skimmer and your return pump come on at the exact same time and then your skimmer overflows. You can have it delay, let's say, by 10 or 20 minutes. Um, you can use those feed cycles not just for feeding but also for maintenance. Maybe a filter sock change or you're doing a water change and you want to put the tank in a particular mode. It's kind of like a macro. Uh, so that's a feed mode. That's the AFS. So I almost forgot, we also have a food specially designed for the AFS. We work with Reef Nutrition to make a food that's called Crossover Diet. Um, it's a great pelletized food, especially when you go on vacation. I like to feed a lot of frozen foods and stuff too, like most people, but it's much easier when you go on vacation to have some pellets that go into the tank. It's great for the fish, but this is coated also with a coral food. So when it hits the water, it disperses the coral food into the water and your corals get fed as well on the vacation, not just the fish. Um, so now we can go over and see the FMM. So this last thing I'm going to show you is something that everybody's been waiting for. In fact, we're getting harassed like crazy on our own forum because we haven't released it yet. Um, it's called the Fluid Monitoring Module. And it does a few different things. The first thing that people are really, really excited about, because it's a multi-purpose device, is that it monitors flow. 
Um, we have flow sensors that will be coming out for various size uh, uh, plumbing. Um, the one I'm demonstrating here at Reef of Palooza is on a BRS two-part reactor that so many people have. Um, it has a flow, a flow sensor on it, and it's connected to the FMM, the fluid monitoring module. And what you can immediately see is that would be really powerful if you had your GFO or your carbon in there and you want to run it at a certain flow rate, you can monitor that, you know, that uh, uh, valve to get it just the flow rate you want. And then when it's dropping off in flow, you can see what that is. Or maybe you're using it for bio pellets. Um, so you know, I have the device here in my hand and you can see that it's running right now 48 gallons per hour here uh, on, the aqua, uh, on the Apex Aqua Controller display screen. Um, but I've got a little valve here and if I turn the valve, you'll start to see that the, the flow starts to decrease as I turn the valve down on that BRS reactor. So if I wanted to run the BRS reactor, reactor at say 20 or 22 gallons per hour, I could set it up like that. If it was reducing its uh, uh, ability to flow because of an obstruction or the GFO was all clogged up, you would know that too. And again, all this can be alerted on your, your text message or an email. Um, I put the flow back, 15, it'll go right back up. Um, imagine this also on your return. So you could have this on your return if you, if you started to have a flow restriction on your return or you had a problem with your pump or your pump wasn't performing as well, you'd be able to see that. So the fluid monitoring module is not just for monitoring flow. We've created it as a multi-purpose device, anything around fluid, right? Um, one of the things a lot of people want to do is, is be able to monitor the fluid level um, in their sump. Maybe they've got salt mixing containers. Um, maybe they've got dosing containers of their own. Lots of different reasons you'd want to be able to, to measure the, the level in something. And we have these optical sensors that we'll be releasing that plug right into the fluid monitoring module as well. There's four ports on the fluid monitoring module. That means you could plug in two flow sensors and then two optical sensors. But wait, there's more. In addition to that, the leak detection modules that you're, you're so familiar with from our ALD, we will have those set up with the same connection and they'll plug into the same. So you can mix and match, say, two flow sensors, one optical sensor, and one leak, detec one leak detection sensor as well, all into the fluid monitoring module. Now the question everybody asks me is, when is this coming out? I know everybody's anxious to get it. We're trying to make it a real future-proof device in that we can have a lot of stuff coming out that we don't even know about yet. Um, to do that, that's the last step for us, and then we're going to launch this product. So hang tight, watch the forums, like us on Facebook, and you're going to know when it comes out, trust me. So guys, thanks for stopping by the Neptune Systems booth here at Reefa Palooza 2016. I want to thank Richard for coming by from Aficionado, and you know, Come to the next one. Come to the next Reefa Palooza if you didn't go to this one because they're awesome. Oh, okay. So that's your.